My husband was a very generous person. He gave. That was it. No matter how big or small, he was the first to give. Of course, he loved Phelps. Phelps was number one. We pretty much knew everyone that was on staff at Phelps because we had six children. We trusted every doctor, everybody. It was our place. My husband loved Phelps as much as I did. I think it's important that uh, people support Phelps. You might need it someday. Phelps was a very special part of my parents' lives, and my dad and my mom grew up in the Tarrytowns, what they called North Tarrytown, before it was Sleepy Hollow. And so their children were born here. A couple of their grandchildren were born here. So Phelps had a huge, huge part in, in their lives. I would say if there was one word to describe Phelps, it would be family. Because when you need them, they're there. What Phelps did for my dad after his lung transplant is just, you just can't believe. I mean, they're the ones who really kept him alive for 12 years because, you know, it's one thing to get the transplant, but then you need the care day to day. And we just had attention from the most wonderful, wonderful people. You would have thought they were taking care of their own parents. It was beautiful. Over the course of my dad's life, my parents attended tons and tons of events. But the champagne ball was so special because they knew everyone, they knew all the doctors. It was always the biggest event every year that my dad looked forward to. And then the funda cause was exciting. Every year it was a different item or cause or program or whatever it was. And he loved it and he knew it would help people who he didn't even know. He was happy to help people he didn't know. Dad would be so proud of what's happening with Phelps right now. I really feel like he's sort of kicked it off and he's brought people in to have Phelps become what it is today. One of the things he and my mom are really proud of is the pediatric area in the hospital, in the emergency room, because that's a time when families and and children, you know, are scared and they're worried about what's happening next. And he was able to give them a nice, comfortable place to, to sit and wait. So Dad supported the Funda cause for a long, long time, many years. I remember when he supported the endoscopy unit. The main thing that he would talk about was that type of cancer can be cured and treated pretty easily if it's caught early. He really wanted people to be able to stay in their community and not have to go so far to find health care. And he would be so proud to know that spending his life in this town, taking care of this hospital, and seeing what it's become, he would just be so proud that he's being honored. He loved his town that he grew up in, and he loved his hospital that he grew up with. I actually met Tom as a young boy in Tarrytown. I was a little younger than Tom, but I got to know Tom in the community. And Tom became my mentor when I joined the bank board of Union State Bank, where Tom was the president and CEO. So this is a special day and a special event for me. This is a story of a man who gave back to his community, made sure that his resources could help people. And for that reason, I think not only are we honoring Tom as the man, Unfortunately, he can't be here to, to share this with us, but we're honoring his family and his legacy, which to me is really the measure of a man and a measure of a person. When you look at the time and the resources and the commitment that somebody like Tom Hales made, and people like Tom Hales uh, to their communities, we need more of that. Tom made a commitment and uh, made the community a better place. On behalf of Phelps, I want to thank the Hales family for their incredible generosity and all the other donors that have made it possible for us to grow the programs and services at Phelps. I know that's where our future is and I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart.